Yo guys, what is up? It's Cameron here. Today I've got you guys a Dragon Knight class guide. Now as you can see, I'm not on my main account currently, and that's because I had a couple payment issues with purchasing the founder package on my iPhone. So I just couldn't get the payment through and I couldn't get the class on my main account. Uh, yeah, so yeah, the video will be uploaded late since I'm not on my account, uh, since I couldn't like make the video right on time. But at least I will get the video out there for you guys to view. So yeah guys, now, once you get the founder package within Battle Gems, you guys can access your book of lore and you can click on the Battle Gems icon. And there's going to be quite a bit of items here, uh, Dragon Knight class related, so they're pretty cool items and they're all AC tags so you can just bank them if you want. Yeah, so they're pretty cool. Alright, let's check out the character overview. As you guys can see, your attack power is 80 and your spell power is 712. Your hit rate is 97.39, haste is 17.64, critical is 26.38, and your evasion is 16.72. Now right off the bat, you guys can see that your spell power is 712. And what that means is that this class is based off a of wizard. So if you were to use luck, fighter, thief, uh, your damage production with this class will be greatly reduced. So I definitely recommend you guys use full wizard or three wizard one luck. Uh, that's if you want to get the highest damage production. And with this class, stable range is recommended since you'll be producing consistent 1Ks or with the stable range. Unstable, uh, it's not that good. It doesn't produce. Uh, the amount of damage which is expected so yeah I recommend you guys use stable now let's check out the skills breakdown alright guys so for your auto attack it's called spell blade and the damage production with your auto attack is based off of how much spell power you have as you can see we have 712 so your damage output is going to be pretty damn high now right there 1.2k and yeah just the auto attack itself without anything applied onto it it deals quite a bit of damage so it's pretty good. And yeah. So for your first skill it's called Dragon Spider. It requires 25 mana and is an 8 second cooldown. Now what this attack does. It basically applies a damage over time on your enemy. And every auto attack you hit on him. The damage over time will be increased. So as you guys can see damage over time is increasing slowly. And it just gets more higher and higher which is really good. And the skill can be stacked up to 20 times. So yeah. Now for your second skill, it's called Dragon's Might, 25 mana and is a 11 second cooldown. Now this applies Dumbfounded, which decreases, well it reduces the uh, damage produced towards you from your opponent. And uh, every auto attack you land on your target, you have a chance to stun them for 2 seconds. So you can stun them once, or even like, you can stun them up to 5 times. It's completely random. But then again, since you can be stun stunning them like an unlimited amount of times, that's why the stun is for 2 seconds, otherwise if it was like 3-4 seconds then you're just going to be stunning these guys like crazy, which is kind of unfair. But yeah, this skill is really useful. Also, if you're trying, if you guys are stacking up your uh, Dragon's Fire, if you're at like 15 stacks and you use this skill, the uh, stacks will be ruined, so you'll just be dropped down to 0 and your stacks will have no point in them. But yeah, so it's basically, you guys got to choose. If you want to collect up to 20 times so your damage of time is really good or if you guys want to be stunning like your opponent quite a bit of times so now onto your third skill it's called sword play it requires 21 mana and it's a 21 second cooldown now what this attack does is basically it deals light damage to your opponent and it significantly reduces physical damage um incoming from your opponent so kind of similar to what dragon's might does it just their damage produced towards you will be decreased. Also, this isn't like the first two skills where they're just like passives or whatever you call them. This actually does it actually produces damage, which is uh, really useful. And onto your final skill, it's called Dragon's Breath. It requires 46 mana and has a 15 second cooldown. Now this attack just simply does a great amount of damage. Now, the damage produced with this skill, I didn't really expect it to be this low. It says um, heavy magic damage, so I was expecting like 2Ks or something, but it produces like 1Ks, uh, not like barely 1Ks. But yeah, it's it's alright, I, I guess. It isn't the best damage production, but it's something pretty useful in like PvP or anything like that. Um, so yeah guys, I guess this wraps it up. Once again, enhancements, you guys can use... Uh, 
four wizard or three wizard one luck uh spider thief and if you use more than one luck it'll just decrease your damage production so i recommend you guys use uh, wizard since it's magical based range should be stable range and yeah so if you guys enjoyed the video just be sure to leave a like down below drop down your feedback and suggestions in the comments below and be sure to click subscribe uh so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this solo